Okay guys, what's up? We're gonna do a quick manual speed controlled manual gimbal controlled waypoint mission. We're just gonna draw out a flight path and go from there. So we're just gonna do the generic loop around the property again. Altitude, I'm gonna go ahead and do 140 feet. Gimbal pitch mode disabled. We use cruising speed and we'll go ahead and click OK. Once we click OK on our batch waypoint settings, let's go ahead and go into the mission settings. Heading mode, we're going to do user controlled. Finish action, I'll just go ahead and go back to first waypoint. Um, cruising speed, we're going to go to zero. And our max flight speed is once again all the way up. Uh, gimbal pitch mode disabled. Rotation direction manual. Okay. Now that we have those settings locked in, we can go ahead and fly this waypoint mission at our own speed, either uh, forward or reverse, meaning we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or we can go waypoint 1, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. We can go in either direction. This opens up a lot more possibilities filming in the same area at different angles. Uh, let's go ahead and save it. Say manual controls. Okay. Let's run this and see exactly what we can do with it. Load the mission, then click the play button. Pre flight report shows up. Click go. Now it's uploading. Now it says mission starting. I'll go ahead and start recording. Recording started. Now, since we have the speed set at zero, have to use the right joystick. Go forward, press forward on it. And now it'll start initializing. Now let's go into the first waypoint. Now here we go. The cool thing about this is it's almost like headless mode in your cheaper quadcopters. You can turn it any direction you like. And it's still going to keep going on its flight path. And we can even fly backwards. Only thing you cannot change is your altitude while you're flying the mission.